Hello everyone, it's that college football guy. Late at night here. <laughs> Late at night. It's, oh my goodness, it's about 9.35 Central Standard Time right now, p.m. Left this morning out of Tennessee and just now got here to Kansas City through a bunch of traffic and craziness. Let life of a trucker. What we're going to talk about today, well, this is going to be kind of quick because... I need to get my butt to bed, <laughs> as I'm going to say on there. But a bunch of comments have come in from everybody. Say, what are these things on there? Everything is a rumor. Everything we hear about conference realignment is a rumor until it actually happens. Is it real? Is it not? We don't know until then. I've had strong comments from a lot of people saying that there's no way that Arizona and Arizona State will lead the Pac-12. They may not. There's a story going around right now that ESPN wants to bid on the Pac-12 rights to kind of force a Pac-12 ACC thing where they could try to pick off the Big 12 from the middle. That's possibly going to happen. And they say, why isn't Fox bidding on it? As I've said it before, I think Fox wants some of the, most of the members that are viable to go to the Big 12 where they have a contract ass, and the rest of them go to the Mountain West where Fox is also part of the contract, of, along with CBS. Do I think, <coughs> excuse me, any of this is going to matter in the long run? I don't know. Oklahoma State to the SEC, that was a rumor. Rumors, 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 rumors. That's all we've heard. The only thing I've heard from any official source that came out anywhere was Coach Deion Sanders at Jackson State said during the XFL combine when someone talked about should uh, HBCUs move up and he said that we're going to hold on to tradition or we're going to move forward and make money. Trying to get the bag, I believe is what he said. If I'm misquoting him, I apologize. But they said they were looking into it as well as possibly moving up. Looking into it and doing it, two different things. But as always, all of this is rumor. There have been some crazy ones. The North Dakota State and North Dakota State to the Big Ten. That whole rumor, I think, came out from somebody during college realignment, conference realignment, looked at an old article from I think it was like four years ago, three years ago, as to geographically what conference would be the best fit? Because they play in the, I think it's the Missouri Valley Football Conference right now. And geographically, the best fit is the Big Ten, but because of academics and everything else, they won't fit. So the second best fit, geographically, is the MAC, which actually could work. Um, but like Jackson State coming up with the rest of the SWAC schools to Conference USA potentially going to the Sun Belt. We don't know any of this stuff. All of this is rumor and innuendo. None of it's based in fact yet. There is a little bit of a thing that's come out in this, I'm going to call this thing kind of a conference realignment roundup, that the state of California was going to try to block UCLA and USC from going. And I'm like, okay, try to block UCLA, you could do that. Try to block USC, no chance. USC is a private school. They don't get any funding from you. If they do, it's limited. So they could bounce their leave. So SC going to the Big Ten is done. UCLA may come back. And I remember reading this a few years back, so someone please correct me on this one. I think it was North Carolina State that got threatened to have their funding cut by the state of North Carolina. They didn't schedule East Carolina for some games. I believe it was North Carolina State. They take things seriously. So if they would take it seriously enough to do that with them not scheduling a team, what would they do if North Carolina tried to leave? and leave the other ACC schools behind, other than the other North Carolina schools behind, and go to the SEC or the Big Ten? Somebody floated out a completely crazy rumor. And the person who put, and I'm not going to dignify this person's name, I'm saying on the air, but 
they're a basketball nut. And that's the only way I can think that this would make sense. They wanted the Big Ten to invite North Carolina, Duke, Kansas, and Kansas State. Now, Kansas State has had good years in football. And they look to be back on the rise again. North Carolina's had its runs. Duke in football, a few good years here and there under David Cutcliffe, but for the most part, no. Do I think that it's possibility? I don't know up from down. And truthfully, we all as fans and as people, we all think we know what. There's no way they're going to do this. None of us are in the athletic director's offices or the school chancellor or the university president or whoever. We're not in their offices hearing this. We're not in the conference's offices hearing this. So none of us knows a thing for sure. All we know is that everything is up in the air. And in 2025... We might know a little bit more. Well, actually, we will know more by 2025. The problem is it's a temporary piece for less than 10 years because 2034, I figure the whole ball of wax starts again. And as I said in an earlier video way back when, I mean, most of the conference realignment we're talking about is in the Power Five. But as the Power Five does things, it filters down the group of five. Well, the group of five has their own TV contracts that are up and due. Which could shake things up in a different way. Some FCS school is going to come up. I fully expect that. Jackson State wanting to make the move, they may have to do that quickly. Because Conference USA's deal ends June 30th, 2023. Less than a year from now. I don't think Jackson State can move up that fast. I don't think they could do it. And would they do it? I don't know. Would they try to get into the Sun Belt? If Prime's still there, Sun Belt might take them for name value. But we'll see. We will see what's going to happen. But as of now, folks, everything's up in the air. The Oklahoma State, I mean, the one video that I've made out of all the videos I've made in the two, little over two weeks this channel's been around was Oklahoma State to the SEC, which is apparently sometimes getting a little bit more traction again. So that way, Texas... Oak Texas and Texas AM are in state rivals, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State in state rivals. They want to kind of preserve that. And I'm wondering why are they wanting to do that? Unless they don't think that the rumor being like three or four schools because of things they may not get North Carolina, because North Carolina may not come without Duke. And I don't think the SEC can handle they can handle having Vanderbilt, but having two of them? Mm, I don't know. But if you get to 22 teams, I think two would be just fine. But how big are we going to get here? It was a strange time to be around right now. I mean, I was all geared up for my first video. Had it all written out. Before the USC-UCLA broke, which was the first video I put out was on that one. It wasn't dying that way. Because I had a whole thing written out about how... The fans of Oklahoma, because I've had friends of mine who are Oklahoma fans, who have come up to me and talked about the fact how they are disgusted with how some of the other fellow fans. It was when Lincoln Riley left. They didn't want to treat him like anything. Caleb Williams, who was considered the savior, pulled off with a great, the greatest comeback in the history of the Red River rivalry. And the fans went after him and his family because he thought about transferring. The passion in college football makes it special. But it also can be a bit toxic. I wish it wasn't. But unfortunately it is. Maybe we can all do better on that one. But for right now, it's late. We all need to get some rest. Now, I'm on my phone, if you hadn't figured that out yet, loading this video up. And I'm here in Kansas City out in the, in the boonies, so to speak. 
So I don't know how well this is going to load. So it may not load until Monday morning, even though I'm taking, doing it here Sunday night. So we'll see how the old upload mechanism works. But anyway, this is that college football guy. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. Comment down below about anything you wish to do, constructive criticism. Give me some info. Was it the NC State one? Because right now I'll do some more notes if I can in the morning. Work takes precedence. But any information on there, if I'm good, I'm wrong. I'm good, I'm wrong. What your opinions are, if you're opposed against me, please let me know. I try not to do any crazy takes because I've had a couple of them on here that I didn't even want to dignify with a response. Some of them are so outrandish that I I, I think I'm, if I would have done all of them right now, I've gone through a couple cases of Excedrin by now. But, anyway, I'm that college football guy. As I said before, like the video, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Want to make this thing grow. Want to make it bigger. And as always, everyone, be good to each other.